Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to read big cube mutations on the 4x4, 5x5, and 6x6. And if you're wondering why I'm not including the 7x7, it is because I do not have one. All right, let's start out with the 4x4. So I, one thing I'd like to mention before we start this tutorial on how to read big cube notations is that the normal 3x3 notations such as X, Y, and Z, and also the normal one layer notation such as F and F prime, R and R prime, B, B prime, L, L prime, U, U prime, and D, D prime, all apply to big cubes as well. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, the only thing for the four by four is wide move turns that you'll have to learn. So wide move turns can be initiated using lowercase letters. So instead of doing a normal uppercase F, a lowercase F would mean you move two layers. Or a lowercase R would mean you move two layers while doing an R move. And the other thing you might see is the same thing as a lowercase letter, but in a different form. So instead of doing a lowercase R, you might see uppercase R and then a W. And W just means you do a wide turn. So W stands for wide. So lowercase r and RW are the same thing. All right, for the five by five, once again, normal one move layer turns and X, Y, and Z all apply. And so also the FW or lowercase f, just like we learned on the four by four, also apply to the five by five. But you notice that there is a another layer added to it, so there are different notations added. So instead of doing a normal RW, let's say, you might see something that says 3RW, like this. And this just means you would do a normal RW, but since it has a 3 in front of it, you would move 3 layers, like this, instead of just 2. And if you see a 2 after that, which makes it a 4 letter notation, such as 3RW2, this just means you do it twice. So to dumb it down a little bit, R, RW, 3RW, and 3RW2. And this applies for all layers. So this would be UW and 3UW. Or you could also do 3UW2. The last cube I'll be going over is the 6x6. So once again, single layer, lowercase letter, or double layer moves and the three layer moves also apply in the situation. And once again, there is a, another layer added to the six by six. So for the six by six, once again, you will learn another new notation. So just like the five by five, you would have the same thing, but you could also do a four RW. So um, for example, this is R, this is RW, this is three RW, and this is 4RW. And once again, if there's a 2 at the end of all of these letters and numbers, that just means you do it twice. So R2, RW2, 3RW2, and 4RW2, just like so. And unfortunately, I do not have a 7x7, but I will make notations for that cube as well once I get one. And just to keep in mind for the 7x7, if you do have one and you need to learn notations, it's the same as the 6x6, and big cubes just get bigger layers. So for 6x6, the biggest you can go is 5RW, like this. And then you'd put whatever notation you're doing it. So 5RW, U, or, yeah, sorry. And then for the 7x7, you could go up to even 6RW. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial on advanced big cube notations for the 4x4, 5x5, and 6x6. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it if even you have friends or family that want to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Well, thanks for watching, Cubesters. Have a great day. Bye!